Hey guys, so I wanted to let you guys know right off the bat, um, the audio is going to be messed up on this video. Unfortunately, I had to re-record over the audio because the GoPro's audio really isn't that great and I was too far away from it. And I guess the Hero 7 Black has a three microphone system where it picks up what it thinks is the best audio and it picked up the worst audio picking up background noise and things like that. So I had to re-record over all the audio, unfortunately. So it's gonna sound kind of weird, but I wanted to still use the footage and get the point across, because unfortunately I can't unbox what I've already unboxed. So I wanna let you guys know what's be gonna be coming up. Uh, we're actually really excited. Uh, we got in touch with Bully Dog, well, Big Rig, Bully Dog, because uh, we had the Big Rig. Uh, and they, uh, we talked to them and let them know that we wanted to get their tuner and their manifold so that we can review it. And we were willing to pay for it, uh, but they were able to, you know, send us over their manifold for the Packard engine to test out, which is awesome, you know? Uh, their only requirement was that we bought their heavy duty GT tuner, you know? So we, we went ahead and bought it. We already planned on buying it. Uh, their thing is we didn't want us to let you know and we wanted to let you know they're not paying us to say anything the only thing they did was give us the product to review and they want an honest review and that's what we're going to give you guys we want to let you know what we thought of it um which will come later in the video or in the next video not sure how we're going to do it yet um jane's going to be putting out some vlogs so we might just do one week my video one week her video or maybe every week one of each of our videos, one, her, one of her vlogs, one of our my DUIs or MPG tests or whatever it is. Um, so we're really excited to get to show you guys this stuff and we're really excited that we kind of get a product to review that we can keep afterwards and we're hoping that it really prolongs the life of the vehicle and just doesn't give us any issues, you know. But as I'll explain in the video, we don't see any issues coming up in the foreseeable future. So with that being said, guys, let's get straight to the video. Hey guys, so this is our exhaust manifold. Came in on Friday. We're hoping to get installed in the next few days. We just entered the truck. We're getting about 355 horsepower to the wheels. We're hoping that with this exhaust manifold and the tuner, uh, we'll be able to get a lot more horsepower. And we'll be doing another dyno after we get it installed. So let's open it up and see what comes inside. This is it guys, this is the manifold. You guys won't be able to see in this shot, but it is poured and polished. It is a smooth surface, no ridges. Um, again, it's poured and polished from the factory. Instead of being a three piece exhaust manifold, we actually have a one piece. Uh, in the original exhaust manifold, uh, the three piece system tends to leak at the joints. so. This is supposed to be a better system that isn't supposed to leak. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll be driving the truck another 250,000 miles at the very least. So we'll get an update at that at that point. And that's all that comes in the box. It's just a manifold, guys. Um, but let me give you a closer look so you guys can see inside. As you can see, it's nice and smooth, like I was saying. But let's go ahead and move on to the next box we received. All right, guys. So we're back inside. Um, this is actually our Bully Dog ECM tuner. I uh, want to do a little bit of unboxing, show you guys what comes inside. So 
So it comes with this carrying case, guys. That's all that's in the box. Uh, on the box, it shows a few things. Like, main thing is the tuning economy, power and economy, and power. When we go to do the dyno, we'll be doing the power tune so we can see how much horsepower we can get to the wheels with the tuner and the manifold. So let's open it up. So it comes with the heavy duty GT, which is the tuner. Comes with the RAM window mount. It's a three piece uh, system. So you can mount it on the uh, window in case you want to watch sensors and readings. Four inch mini USB cable, which is not this one, it's actually this next one. This one right here. Uh, 10 inch HDMI cable, which is this one. HDMI port savers. micro SD card and reader 6 pin plug assembly and 9 pin plug assembly which is what we'll be using and I'm gonna put this up so you guys can see it in economy they advertise 6 to 10 percent increase in fuel economy in power and economy, they advertise 10% power increase, 10 to 12% increase in fuel economy. In power, they advertise 20% power increase, but no increase in fuel economy. In the dyno, we'll be doing, again, the power tune. And uh, we'll do some tests with economy and power and economy. We actually have enough power, so if we, can, we don't need to be in power and economy if economy gives us better fuel economy. But we'll go over the rest afterwards, guys. We're going to take the truck to the dealer right now. See you guys then. Hey, guys. So we're on our way to the truck right now. All right. All right, so we're going to be going over to the dealer right now. I'm going to pull around the side of the building, put the manifold back into the truck, take it over to the dealer, have them install it. They're also going to be checking out a check engine light for us. And uh, yeah, we're probably gonna be down for about two, two or three days. Um, no biggie. I mean, we kind of set aside this entire week to uh, get the truck like that. There it is. All right, let's get to the dealer. Hey guys, so I uh, just finished editing a little bit more of the video. We got the truck back. Um, we're gonna be heading out today to the Freightliner to get a dynode and maybe buy a toolbox, I'm not sure. Our bill was much higher than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, it came out to like $5,700. Um, but it wasn't just to install the exhaust manifold. I'll have Jane explain that in her vlog. Uh, so, I tried to record the installation process of the tuner. Um, it took exactly 38 minutes, guys. It wasn't anything too crazy. I know the box, I think says, uh, or online it says a lot, like six hours. The paperwork says a lot, an hour. About an hour seems to be a decent amount of time. You guys should a lot too. Um, it says to remove a few uh, relays. Guys, remove those relays. Do not think you don't have to remove those relays. I was like, you know what? All the videos I see, nobody says to remove the relays. I'm not removing them. As soon as the tune was done, fault code on the automatic transmission. I was like, oh no. We just got it out of the shop. It's been in there for a week. So I started it up, it, it ran. I turned it off and let it cycle through its things, turned it back on fault code came off but it's not something I'm gonna risk again I'm gonna make sure I remove those few those relays it's the tractor and trailer ABS relays 
any automated transmission relay. So make sure you remove those relays before you perform the tuning process. Um, other than that, I went on a test drive, drove great. Like I said, we're gonna go in the morning to go get a dynode and we're gonna see what we're gonna put in, what we're putting down to the wheels now. We were putting 355 horsepower to the wheels with no tune, no manifold. This is gonna be tune and manifold. So let's let's see what we get. And uh, I also like clip in here uh, a little showing of the old manifold. And just right off the bat, you guys will be able to see that the ports are just much smaller. Uh, so it's got less flow and it's not as smooth as the uh, new manifold so you, you can tell there's some restriction in this old exhaust manifold but i mean it's it's oem it and most oem manifolds are that way so uh let's move on to the dyno hey guys so just want to go over the manifold real quick the old one oh, let me get some light in here for you guys if you guys can see in there it's a smaller port altogether. Um, let me flip it over left. Can you hold this? You guys can look in there. That one really shows you how it's not poured and polished. You can see the grooves. And then these were the seals that I was telling you guys about right here. Um, that's where these manifolds tend to leak. Um, but yeah, that's the old manifold, guys. Hey guys, so that's the end of this video, kind of a recap. We took the truck in, got the exhaust manifold installed. We went ahead and tuned the ECM to performance, headed over to the Freightliner. Got a dyno again. I'll be putting up the dyno sheets up right here and uh, we'll kind of go over it real quick. Okay, with the first dyno, the highest horsepower that we saw was 357. And with the second dyno, the highest horsepower that we saw was 402, almost 403. Um, guys, it's a, it's a significant increase. It's about a 13% increase off of stock uh, to the wheels. Um, the engine's rated at 455 uh, to the crank, and we're putting up 402, almost 403 to the wheels. That That's awesome, you know? Um, we're gonna be switching it over to performance and economy uh, for the next, I guess you could say, week. Um, we're gonna be going on vacation, so you'll probably be seeing a lot more of Jane's vlogs than my testing uh, in the weeks to come. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed what you guys saw, and I'm um, we're excited to test this stuff out and uh, thank you Bully Dog for sending over the manifold and uh, we'll be sure to make a better review than this once we actually get on the road and see how the truck performs with the manifold and the tuner. Thanks again.